Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back to TLT. My name is Lynn, and I'm going to do your reading today. Um, see what happened in the past, what is going on now, and what's going to happen in the future. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me do three shuffles for the Empress and see where your energies are at. Right, pass energy. High flying, current energy. Transition and future energy. Embrace. Alright, bottom of the deck is Healer. And um, since we have all the cards, let me put this back. And let me show you the cards that came up. So past energy is High Flying. Current energy is Transition. And future energy is Healer. Wait, wait. Embrace, sorry. Embrace. Okay. I did see, um, yeah, that was the bottom of the deck. That was healer. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. You are number 14 and you are the temperance card. So let me do uh, five shuffles for you. Knight of swords. So the Nine of Swords, thanks, and then Axe. Ooh, King of Cups, emotionally balanced. Knight of Wands, Axe, and then thanks. <laughs> the Sun, happiness. Eight of Swords being stuck. Let me do one more shot just to make sure. Okay. And Six of Wands, Victory. All right. Okay. So, uh, High Flying, what about it? Five of Cups, Transition, what about it? Okay. Ten of Swords. Embrace, what about it? Three of Wands. Part of the deck is Queen of Wands. <laughs> She's a queen of passion. All right, um, what's under her? Three of Cups, and what's on the other side? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. All right, let me put this away. And um, let me see what the messages are from the Romance Angel. So, single Sagittarius and not single Sagittarius. So, let me do four shuffles for the Emperor. Keep an open mind. Let your friends help you. Romantic feelings. Forgiving and learning. All right, single Sag, what's your message? And not single Sag, what's your message? Okay, part of the deck is let go of control issues, allow the situations to unfold naturally. Still said, your message is deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Yeah, that's a warning. Somebody's not being honest here. 
and somebody is calling. What the heck is going on? All right. Yeah. <laughs> they can leave me a message if it's important. And then, um, Sagittarius who are not single, your message is children. Your love life is being affected by children. So for those of you who have kids, uh, that may be affecting your love life or you could be dating someone that has kids and that could be affecting your love life. Okay. All right. So we have all the cards. Let me put them together and <clears throat> see what the message is. All right. So high flying uh, came out clarified by the five of cups. So, okay. What I'm getting is that high flying is basically like, like you're, you're able to see above it. Like, Whatever's going on, whatever problem or conflict is going on, chaos, you know, there could be like five different people fighting, five different groups. There could be a lot of chaos going on around you. But <clears throat> some of you are able to see past that. You're able to see above that. You're able to rise above that. And you're able to see, you know, what is the lesson in this situation? And for some of you, just being able to see that, I'm seeing two different stories. So the first one is just when you're able to see that what's going on, um, that person or situation may have already left. So you went through a loss um, and that's what the Five of Cups is for. It's loss, regret, or disappointment. So it's like just when you're able to see past above you know what was going on um you lost someone and that's where you're grieving that that loss and then the other situation i'm seeing is that person that you lost may have been in your life at some point and they were the ones that told you to be able to see past everything to be able to rise above and be able to see what is the lesson here so that person may have told you to be able to see the big picture. And as soon as you saw that, they were gone. Um, either they left or um, you lost them in some way. So that may be why you're going through some type of grieving. So whatever it was, um, this happened. Um, you were able to see past the situation and you also lost something or someone. So you went through um, you went through this. This is what you went through. And because this already happened, um, this was in the past. And right now, the current energy is um, transition. So yeah, change. So um, something could be ending and then something new will begin. So you're going from the old into the new. So you're in between changes. Um, and then there's an ending here because of the Ten of Swords. So... Basically, what I'm seeing is that, um, like, the loss of that person or connection triggered an ending for you. So that was the end of that. That person or connection or whatever that was, that was the end of that. Um, they're no longer in your life. And for some of you, that triggered you to, to change. Um, there were some things that you saw that you didn't see before and this person helped you see what you didn't see before. And by the time you saw it, yeah, that ended. That connection was gone or that person left. Whatever that was, it ended. And basically that person's absence was your trigger. For change and um, the future energy this hasn't happened yet but it's gonna happen so I'm seeing embrace like it's something that you have to accept and um, clarified by the three one so you're waiting you know um, see if there's any progress so a part of you is waiting and then a part of you needs to accept something so it's like you're waiting for some type of acceptance or you need to accept something while you wait. 
What I'm seeing is that there's no need for you to wait for anything if you're able to accept something. So basically, you need to accept that you could have had more than that. You could have had that person, that trigger, whoever did that, that person could have stayed in your life if you just accepted the rule in it. But some of you didn't. Some of you resisted that, and that's why they left. And their absence is what triggered you, some of you. So basically, it's like you're still resisting even now. Like waiting for something to happen is still a form of resistance. When you can just accept it, accept what happened, accept responsibility, and accept that something's over. And because it's over, basically, you had a part in that. You had a part in the ending. So take responsibility. You had a part in it. So why don't you just, you know, embrace that. Embrace your part in the ending. And if you want to fix that, you have to accept your part in it. It's like, it's almost like, if you want to take responsibility for to have things ended, you have to take responsibility. Like, what was your role in the ending? And if you want to start something new, if you want another chance, you're gonna have to accept your, your role in this. You're gonna have to take responsibility that if this ends, it's because you had a part in its ending. If it works, that's because you had a part in it, in it, in it, in it working. Yeah, basically that's what you need to embrace, your responsibility in the situation. And when you're able to do that, when you're able to accept things, when you're able to embrace things, when you're able to see your part in things, and you, when you're able to take responsibility, um, not only are you realizing your role and part in the problem, you're also seeing your role and part in the solution. That's what I'm seeing. And then there's no need for you to wait. So you could either take action or you can wait. So one part um, requires action and one part, no action, just waiting. So basically one part is faster and the other part, you can wait a long time. You can be waiting forever. Yeah, that's basically what it is. You're choosing the outcome. You're choosing the answers now, or you're choosing to wait for answers. So it's your choice. You have a choice. And um, for the single Sagittarius, um, yeah, somebody is not being honest here. There's some type of deception going on. Somebody's wearing a mask, and they're not being honest with you, and they're not being honest with themselves. So you've been warned and just be very careful with this person because um, they're not being honest. And um, for those of you who are not single, um, you're currently seeing someone and yeah, children may be affecting um, you in some way. Either you have kids or the one you're seeing has kids, whatever that is, yeah. Children are affecting you in some way. All right? Um, that's what I have for Sagittarius. I hope it helped you in some way. And I will talk to you again soon.